This year has been a, a shock for a lot of people and, and it's made us all stop. And after I'd finally sorted my cupboards out and, you know, cleared my attic, I dusted off my piano and sat and got inspired again to write. And, and I haven't had that for a while. Um, but then all of a sudden your artistic stuff start to come out. And thanks to this situation that we're all in, my band were available. I'm Jamie Little and I play drums. So I'm Jim Pitchforth and I play percussion and sing backing vocals. I'm Richard Hammond and I play the bass. My name's Steve Cooper and I'm uh, the guitar player. I'm Sean Barry and I play keyboards. I'm Gina. I'm Sarah. I'm Amy and we are James Backing Singers. I've been very blessed to have recorded some amazing things in my time with massive orchestras, working with great producers. I, I have been really, really blessed. But I've never had the luxury of, of doing it with my own band. Jane just phoned me up and said, I think we should do an album uh, with the band, the live band. This is the first time we've done a band record, so i.e. the touring band are, are doing a whole record with Jane or a whole album. Um, so that's really nice because again it brings together the live set, the live sound and that kind of thing to the studios. And every time somebody comes and sees us live, they all say, blimey gosh, you've got to see you live. You know, your, your albums are lovely, but when you see you live, and that is the energy that comes off my band, because we're so close and we've been together many years. I've never laughed so much with a band in my life than, than this lot. Um, and Jane's very much at the centre of all that, so it's just great to see everyone. It really is. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen each other a lot this year because of lockdown and everything, but as soon as you get together, it's like a little family, really. It's great. It's very inclusive. Um, she's, everybody has a say. This is a, a, a family unit. Uh, and as I said, they've been established for quite time, so I'm one of the new guys. But uh, I don't feel like that. I feel like I've been here for a, a very long time. It's just really nice. To, you, you do sort of become a little close knit family. And it's, yeah. it's you really feel like you you all in it together. It's definitely a fun gang to work with. It's probably the best group of people that I've regularly been out and worked with. They're a really great bunch. We've been together now for a long, a long time, and to have that camaraderie and you know we we've lived together on tour buses. We laugh a lot. We're extremely lucky with Jane because not only is the gang fun to work with, she's fun to work with and she loves the fact that we have fun. I've actually co-written uh, some songs with Jane as well, so, so that's been a really nice way to develop that the writing relationship, um, it's always nice to collaborate on songs and work on songs together, so that's, so that's been really great. But in addition to that, you know, the live show, Jane will always ask for input and ideas, what do you think of this, should we, should we change this, what do you, should, we, should we think about the, the, the set order, does that work? So she's always interested in, in, in what the band think. You just know that they're going to bring out the best in you and it's, it's sheer joy to be able to capture that sound that everybody knows as far on stage to put now on this album. I'm already thinking this is the best album we've ever done. Well, I've known Jane for, oh, 20 odd years. I mean, a long time, because we were both singers in the working men's clubs. We had the same agent, and that's how we met. She's just such a nice person. She sort of brings out the best in everybody. Everybody just enjoys it, gets on with it, does the job, and, you know, then we have a little party every now and again, and then we all go home, and it's lovely. Jane's an amazing singer. Um, when I first auditioned for her, I just couldn't believe the qualities to her voice uh, and the control. She can basically sing anything, so it's a real honour for me to sing with her. Um, but I do feel that our voices blend really nicely, tonally together, so, um, so it's, yeah, it's a pleasure. She's got a fantastic voice. She's a comfort. 
She makes you think that anything can happen. And I think in the main, along the way, it really has happened. She's, you know, she said, I'm gonna do this, and you think, oh, I hope so. And she does, and in the end, you believe it, and it happens. Jane's got a new uh, follow-up to The Hand That Leads Me, and I think it's probably the best song she's ever written. And I think people will be surprised that she could follow it because it's been such a popular song, but she's managed it. She's done a fantastic job. You know, I wrote The Hand That Leads Me for my mum probably 20, 25 years ago now. And it's become such a fan favourite. And I get so many people saying, it's played at my wedding, it's been played at my mum's funeral, it's been played at so many different people's lives have got the hand that leads me in it. And when my mother passed away, when I dusted the piano off and sat, I looked up and I've got a picture, a, a big picture of my mother looking down at the piano. And I had no idea that I'd done that. I'd just put it on a wall, not realising that it was overlooking my piano. So when I started to sort of play a little bit and think, right, I'd look at my mum and I thought, you're still leading me, aren't you? And that was it. I just thought, you still lead me. So this is a sequel really to The Hand That Leads Me called You Still Lead Me. And it helped me, it helped me grieve because I needed to. I'd been so busy since the passing of my mother that I hadn't actually had the quiet time to sit down and I tend to put everything into songs and I think it helped me and I think it will help a lot of other people who are going through the same um, and it's all about love never dying the, the fear that you have of never seeing them again and I hope people release when they hear it. The message I give to my fans right now is just hang on. I can't wait to say hello, hello my friends again, you know, it's uh, I miss them dreadfully and I think about them all the time and uh, you don't realise just what a love you have with your fans because it's not just a fan thing, you know, I, I absolutely love them and that love is reciprocated and I'm very, very blessed to have that and uh, I'll be back. You want me moth joke? Go on, yeah, so there's a guy who goes to the um, doctors and he says, um, Doctor, I keep thinking I'm a moth. He says, well, you, you don't really want a doctor, you want to see a psychiatrist, really. He says, well, I was just on my way there, but I saw your light was on. <laughs>